Spray is Red 84. My name is Tara and I am going to give you my Christmas romance books that I have read. It is going to be pros and cons style like I always do with my wrap ups. Um, this is the second one I read so uh, I did today and as you can see I'm wearing the same shirt same day. Uh, so you guys probably gonna see this on Saturday or Sunday. I haven't decided, but when I do decide, um, you'll see either on Saturday or Sunday. I'll pre-schedule it because I have work and I'm doing videos and everything else and all that. So, <sighs> okay, so if you want to know my actual feelings, or on some of the books, I did write some things, or you want my uh, rating on Goodreads. My links are in the description box. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll get on to on to what I'm what I've read. The Christmas romance I read. These are um, not um, by all means. Erotica, even though I do read those, these are, um, some, be I think most of them were, like, behind the scenes, sex scenes, and just, uh, cutesy, uh, just kisses. That's the kind of rom romances that was interested in for Christmas. Um, I'm sure there's naughtier ones, but these ones, I have not. So, I'm just gonna get into it. I'm repeating myself. But anyway, here I go. So, the first one, and this is not in order of what I've read them. There's just a list I, I had. Okay. The first one is Christmas from the Heart by Sheila Roberts. The prose, a small town setting. There's humor and a quick read. I think I've probably read this in one or two days. The cons are the heroine was pretentious, um, major guilt trips, and the the and the lead, the um, the main female character led on Morris. The, then the second book I read is Christmas in Evergreen: Letters to Santa by Nancy Nagel, and the pros are. Christmas, the story flows uh, efficient, effort, effortlessly. Uh, everyone, it's everyone's image of a Christmas town and heartwarming Christmas story. Some scenes felt forced, like the love, like the love scenes, kind of, and like the, and. Supporting characters overshadowed the main couple. Uh, and then the older, the old letter that was found became the backdrop. And, uh, and or like a side note. And, and then, the, and then, oh yeah, now I remember to go, go back into it. The, that's what the whole reason for the Santa letter and the the Christmas Star by Dana Van Der Lee, uh, the precious little girl needing of a, a family, adoption, positivity, and full of the Christmas spirit. Um, the cons are Christian romance, timeline unrealistic, and horribly cheesy. So, in the description of the book it doesn't say it's Christian, and that that was a huge issue of some of the thing, some of the uh, reviews I read. Actually, half of them. <laughs> and the next one is the Nine Lives of Christmas by Sheila Roberts. Prose, cute cat, perfect feel of Christmas romance, and a good message to to dot pets um the cons is the ending fell flat 
uh, the Hallmark mo movie wa was better than the, the book. The um, internal logic did not uh, hold up to the actor action, the actions of the heroine and the hero, and full of the hot, the tired romance tropes. The next book is Christmas in Everdeen by Nancy Nango. That's the first book of the of the Ever the Christmas in Evergreen series. The prose is wonderful magic friendships, small town warm and lovely. The cons are over-the-top Christmas romance, highly descriptive prose, and predictable uh, and syrupy sweet. The next one is Christmas in Everdeen, The Tidings of Joy by Nancy Nagel. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I said it for the Everdeen, the same author all the Christmas and Everdeen are written by the same author. The prose is a soup romance with a bit of mystery. Characters endearing and it's heartwarming. The cons, a lack of character development. Uh, strange, the book is written. It's strange that the book is written after the movie was filmed so it's like instead of the other way around it it, it, it was kind of strange um i've seen all the movies and each one of them were written after after it so that you could add that on to the other the other ever evergreen christmas and evergreen book uh books i've read just keep that in mind when you read them this the, the next book is just Dashing Through the Snow by Debbie McCumber. The prose, the humor, the romantic comedy. Uh, it's a road trip and um, the dislike to love trope. The cons are some felt that need a rewrite. The, F the FBI part of the story was poorly executed and the romance fell flat. Um, this is one. This was not one of uh, Debbie McCumber's uh, book. Uh, good books. It wasn't like really well written. And then the next book is Christmas: A Holiday House by Rayanne Thine. Adorable Christmas romance, fitting and moving ending. Ethan and Abby and Lucy and H Jose this got the same death and attention in the story. Both storylines were were on point and great. Um, the plot was a little circular. Uh, the story dragged and um, it was predictable. The last book I read for the for the Christmas romance is A Timeless Christmas by Alexis Stanton. The prose, magical, uh, diverse characters, and time travel. The cons is the dialogue not well written, uh, too much fluff. And the storyline, what was too unrealistic, I guess, like the whole like tra the time travel from like the 1900s to recent times, I guess, like this book came out 2019 or 2018, but I'm going to say 2019. So that was that that was an issue. But if you got this far in the video, please put a um. Mrs. Claus emoji in in the comments if you don't feel like you can leave me a comment this is I do read romance and I read all the types of romance so so we'll be looking for more ram romance in the future uh it might not all be Christmas romance but there there'll be more romance and more and I'm gonna try to do more diverse 
and all that. But anyway, please like and subscribe. If and um, all my links are in the description box. If you want to be friends of any platform, it's down in the description box. And thank you for watching.